So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges and the Eververse. Uh, I started adding Eververse not too long ago. Uh, it's literally one o'clock, so let's get right into it. So first and foremost, if you guys liked the video, if you guys found it informative, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help the channel grow, and I very much appreciate it. Other than that, Wayfinder's Voyage, uh, four? Yeah, four. Use the Wayfinder's Compass to complete Wayfinder's Voyage four. Also defeat Scorn anywhere in the system. Defeating Scorn with melee abilities grants bonus progress. This one's not going to be too hard, specifically because, uh, the new activity has Scorn in it, so this is going to be a lot easier. So just play the game. Uh, Astro telemetry, gather parallax trajectories from playlists or astral alignment activities or from ascendant anchors found in on destinations and in the shattered realm activity. Again, this one's not too hard. This one you literally get from playing the game because parallax trajectory you get from literally almost doing anything in the game. So most of you, if not all of you will get this if you're playing the season. Uh, if not, then just play activities. Uh, literally do what it tells you to. It's not that hard. For Ley Line Mysteries, Line Beacon and Discover Trivial Ascendant Mysteries within Shattered Realm. I've already ha I've already got like 20 uh, Trivial Mysteries found. Ascendant Mysteries and Beacons Aligned. Beacons Aligned obviously just play the activity itself, but the Ascendant Mysteries actually might be available now since I think it's only three portions of the Ascendant map. So we should be back to the first week so that... And we also have two new uh, abilities, so that, that's going to be a lot of fun considering I've found like a good majority of them. Uh, Astral Authority, defeat combatants with trace rifles, combatants defeated in Shattered Realm or Astral Alignment activities, grant bonus progress. Again, this is not going to be too hard. Uh, just defeat enemies in the Shattered Realm or Astral Alignment activity. I wonder if this also counts in the Shattered Throne, because if that's the case, then you can just go to the Thrall Room and just do that. If not, that's unfortunate, but again, this one's not going to be too hard. Just use a, a trace rifle in astral alignment or just kill a bunch of stuff in the other activity. I forget what it's called. Entertain Lord Shax. Complete matches in the Showdown Crucible playlist. Earn bonus progress for wins. I actually don't know. Well, you know what? Let's find out. I don't remember which one's the Showdown. Is that the one that I hate? Uh, chief victory by defeating opponents and preventing revives winning the most. Yeah, so it's basically Elim. Uh, I'm, basically, I'm probably gonna do that later. I say that like I didn't just play a bunch of trials this week, so this one's not hard. Just play that activity if you don't want to do it. I mean, by all means, you can skip like one or two, or I think what is it, three or four uh, challenges, and you'll still be able to get the seasonal one, the, the really big one. Uh, high value hunter defeat powerful combatants in gambit earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets uh, again this one's just play a gambit and defeat high value targets that's going to be the bonus progress so just do that bunch this one's not too hard considering there's a lot of powerful combatants at the later stage of gambit so this one might not take you that long or it might take you a long time depending if you can even get to the to the boss himself Precision calibration, calibrate marksman weapons, scout rifles, snipers, and linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows. Bonus progress against guardians. So this is going to be good uh, in PvP. You can, if you're if you're good with your shot. I mean, scout rifles, uh, they're not that good, but there's some that are pretty good. And then sniper rifles, if you if you can hit your shot and linear fusion rifle, same thing. Then it's going to be really good in PvP. Other than that, just do it wherever you want to. Honestly, not that big a deal. Uh, unlock artifact mods. It basically unlock them all. This one I already have. Uh, I really don't have to tell you how to do this. Just play the game and you'll eventually get enough experience to get all of the mods. And then Vanguard Chosen, complete any night false strike on hero difficulty or higher. Um, pretty short hero is the one that you can actually go to. It, what is it? Um, most, most likely if I remember correctly, but that's pretty much it. This one's not gonna be too hard. Uh, let's actually go check that now, just in case you're forgetting like I am. But I'm pretty sure the hero one is like one of the easiest ones, if not the first one, maybe. No, it's not. So, yeah, this one is match made. So, obviously, you can do this. It's not going to be too hard. But let's go to the store now. Oh, shit. I was not expecting anything good. Fuck. Okay. So, for the Eververse, you're getting uh, Grayscale Undergrowth, which is a pretty cool shader, if I remember correctly. If my stuff loads in, Jesus Christ. So here's the shader. I actually think it looks pretty cool. I like the chrome look. It looks really cool. So yeah, uh, damn, that is a dark cloak. And then we have Redline Torpedo and 
Pragmat Shell, which, I mean, looks pretty cool. I wouldn't get it, but it looks pretty cool. And that looks like something out of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Okay. And then for what they're selling at the bottom, you get a traject or a projection timeline, a timeline zero, which sucks considering no one ever uses a sword. Excessive elbow dance for, okay. Taurus Rocketeer, which God looks horrible. And you get the arms for Titans, Warlocks, and Hunters. So that's pretty cool. And then the Junkyard Shell, which is gross. And then last but not least, the Flare Gun. So that's pretty cool. You get these shaders as well, which some are pretty cool. Some are like whatever. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link to in the description below. Again, I very much would appreciate if you guys follow. Uh, likes, comments, subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.